Coming to you live from your favorite interracial YouTubers. We're all biracial. Wow. All we three of us. all have a, well, this is a melting pot. Who are the other interracial YouTubers? Is there a trio? I don't, I can't are we like the most ambiguous race, I don't know, group? It's like Sidemen, aren't they all like the same? Yeah. It's black, there's like two black, black guys, three white guys. I don't even know all of them. Maybe one guy's mixed up. But I don't think, that even in terms of duos and trios, I don't think that there's. Are there other trios? Big trio. YouTube trio? YouTube trios? I don't know if I know of any. And all the duos I do know, they're either the same race or just one or the other. Mm -hmm. So we're lit. We're special. You, you guys are looking at a feat of nature. Yeah. History. <laughs> yeah, this is technically history. History in the making. They gotta do a movie on us one day or something. We, well, we literally hit almost all the continents. That's what I'm saying. Look at us. Noah's, oh, God. I'm Noah's on the other islands I'm on the shit. islands. I'm from like... Rob got motherfucking Asian, uh, Mexican. Oh, I cover Africa. <laughs> My mom's Irish, so we got that. If it ain't us, then who? If it ain't us, then who? If it ain't now, then when? Start the video. Start this bitch ass video. What's the biggest racial stereotype your partner embodies? She has wide hips and like a, a big butt. Oh, my big booty. <laughs> this is unrelated. That's, we just clicked through an ad. It was yeah. Snickers. Snickers ad. And it was NFL Snickers. Do you think that they're feeding their NFL players Snickers? <laughs> yeah, why are they promoting candy to the sport? Yeah, but thing. think about it. Half people that watch the, not half. 80% of people are in their home where it's like, oh, I gotta get a snack. You're right, I'll get some Snickers. Yeah, these dumb fatos, let me just promote some Snickers to them. NFL! You All think right. the NFL players before their game are on the sideline are eating Snickers? Well, I take two Snickers, I'm gonna fall asleep in 30 minutes. No, this, I have one, I, I'm, oh. You know, you, you get tired. If you ate only Snickers, I mean, same with, you why, why was Doritos the biggest ad on Super Bowl back then? I mean, Chips are one of the most fattening things you could eat. Right? I'm spacing out a little bit when I have too many of those. We don't even question, you see NFL Snickers? Yeah, we're almost like numb. To it because I didn't even think about that until you brought it up. It's, it's like, like imagine the kids water people watching this or like yeah, there's us that's like oh just to add other people. I gotta buy more candy and not realize that we're being brainwashed. Literally, media controls us. Or with every commercial too. When they had the whole when the illness was happening and it's like hey we, they want everyone to stay safe and you know mask up and X Y Z and get the vaccine and then they push something that gives your body instant inflammation, no nutritional value. If you eat enough of them, you'll get fucking diabetes. diabetes. Literally diabetes. So what are we doing here? Isn't it when you actually but, think but, about but it? Think about it. How much, yeah, how much is a Snickers though? Motherfucking a, a, few, dollar, a like, few cents if you get the value pack, because I know nothing about that. Not good for you, but you could buy 10 of those right now and still got five bucks in your pocket. Like I've never been like a candy addict though, but I know people that always had like had to have Skittles. Or, like in high school, there was like mm -hmm. a kid that always would have to just eat that, but I could eat it here and there, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's never the healthy brands getting the Big sponsorships. No, no. What are the biggest Super Bowl ads? Snickers, Doritos, Budweiser. Do I see salad ads? I don't even. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just started eating it. I'm like, these are actually pretty good. When <laughs> right? you make them the right yeah, way, I ain't never seen nothing I about put steak no salad. And salad. I said, wait. And they make you actually feel good. Oh no, that's like after you eat it, I felt good the rest of the day. I said, oh shit. But I don't see nobody telling me how to make it. Yeah, at least a Jamba Juice ad or something. How do you feel after three Snickers? You feel like shit, and they push it to be happy. They don't show those ones though. Yeah, we live in such. We a need place. to make honest candy ads. <laughs> Your football coach will get mad. It if you're snacking on a Snickers at football practice. Yeah. Snickers. But coach, the NFL is promoting it. Are you an idiot? No, they have their $1,500 well, a month nutritionist who's cooking up the best meals <sighs> properly. All I'm saying is look out for that shit. That's what we say, like question everything. I guess that is a stereotype. I have a really big butt. Do you like a big butt? Me? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. It's, your, it's your girl, yeah. Uh huh. My name's Nate. I'm Anicia. My name's Brandon. Liza. What are you doing here today? I'm here to talk about my interracial relationship. Do you have a racial preference when dating? No. No, I don't. No, but I definitely have only really dated white people. Abba. I mix and mingle with my, in my community. Abba and preach. <laughs> I don't like the way that sounded. Um. <laughs> Do you have racial preferences when dating? No. She has a preference, 100%. She prefers white girls and Hispanic girls. <laughs> it would look like it does, but I don't. Have you had a racial preference when dating? No. <laughs> What about your partner? Yeah, black women. My dating preference is black, for sure. Is this the first time you've dated a black woman? No, I ain't new to this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new to this. First impression on your partner? To, to this day. We're not good with my mom. I don't think she ever had a good reaction to her. Yeah, I don't know why. I tried really hard. I was like really nice. I know how Korean moms can be, so I was like really trying, uh, but damn. Just, yeah, she really did not like me. And my dad is like finally accepted it and like it started to treat her like family now, which is a uh, great turnaround, but goddamn, it took a lot of hurt. What were your parents' first impression of your partner? They weren't surprised. I was that person in the family. They like they tell me to my face, like, you're gonna end up with a white boy. Their first impression Whoa. was, you're with the white boy? Not knowing that I'm half white, half Samoan, and all that. I was embarrassed about introducing 
someone of like a different ethnicity into my family. Am I living in a different generation? I can't believe this is still a thing. People being like interracial, oh, I'm scared oh. to like introduce you. What? Because they're I live in a bubble? Older, the parents are just that traditional, I guess. Yeah, the Korean one was traditional. I, I know. get that. I do know a lot of Asian traditional parents be racist. Yeah. I don't know, maybe the Asians yeah, can uh, vouch, uh, vouch uh, me on that one. I've been pretty welcome between any people that I date that were outside of my race, so it's like, I don't know. Stop racism. How did uh, your partner's parents feel about you? Not super pumped about me being white. <laughs> my mom was happy that I, that I had a girlfriend. <laughs> she was excited. Her mom likes me a lot. They really loved her. They're like, if you leave her, uh, we're keeping her. Whose family is more racist? I don't feel like it's my family. It has to be mine, I guess. Oh, damn. Brandon's. <laughs> it's my damn family. Hers. I mean, her dad and like that side of the family, they have a lot of bias. What do you think your partner said? She probably said mine. I love her mom with all my heart. She gave me these Christmas ornaments once and they were black. And she was like, here, look, they look like you. And I was like, Leslie. Oh. <laughs> oh. Not the black ornaments. Oh God. The most racist thing ever. I have to say that publicly, I've said some like stereotypical things to my partner that have been very hurtful. I feel like people of color, we have talk in our home. You know, we say some pretty <laughs> controversial things. In like a middle school, thought that saying the N word was like, Cool. Oh, shit. With an ER. With an A at the end. Not with an ER. Just an oh, ER. never with an ER. Oh my that God. <laughs> but no, I, that was just like how everybody around me spoke. And so I just thought that it was okay to say that. And it wasn't until I kind of grew up and talked to uh, people that okay, weren't respect. white that I found out that it was not okay and stuff that respect. immediately. Yeah. Cool. Race played a role in your relationship. Well, there's a lot of unlearning I had to do. Koreans are actually anti black as fuck. Like, wow. <gasps> Fuck. He just straight said it. He said it like it was like, a, oh yeah, you better know that. Koreans are anti-black. He said it like that's a fact out there. He said, oh yeah, y'all don't know that yet. <laughs> See, I said I thought that that was, that was true, but he really put it out there. Mm. Anti-black. I mean, I can see that with a super traditional parents. It's like, oh yeah, because I mean, they probably just want you to date a Korean man yeah, or woman, yeah. right? They just want you to stay. That's all they know. Can someone who's Korean give me some background into the Korean parents and how they only want you to be with Koreans? Because I would like to know about that. Damn. Is it? Is that one of the only races that's Yeah, but I say, is it just black? That's it? And I don't think it's only Koreans either. Is it other Asian Filipinos? Like usually Indians would only want to date Indians or Mexicans want to date Mexicans. Um, but maybe it's more hardcore in the Korean culture to like, no. So it's like, y'all need to start getting the Koreans and calling them out for their racism. Yeah. Nobody fights with the Asians though. People yeah. fight with white people, but if it's like, if, if it's a racist Asian, it's like, uh. Yeah, and they don't even be <laughs> online yeah. either. Nah, they just be, Casual, silent. Yeah. Definitely, I felt insecure because of the way my parents were like uh, treating our relationship. Being Brandon, being Korean, we were just in the Korean community a lot, and I just got a lot of stares. I don't know. This is not. It's not nice to like feel that, you know. Mm. So there's times where like I wanted to go to Korea. Like, when we look at her. <sighs> And you're like, why are you with this white man? Because that's what a lot of people just will see me as sometimes. I got a cousin who's very hotet. I think I blocked her on Instagram at this point. She saw a picture of him and I on his Instagram and felt the need to comment how upsetting it was for her to see. When it comes to this issue, we don't see it eye to eye and it is what it is. I had this girl harassing me because I'm black. I ended up having to get a restraining order against her. This girl threatened to lynch her. She actually oh. showed up to our house on multiple occasions and like tried to break into our home. How did you know this person? She, she just, I was on social media. I it ended up really worrying um, my wife's parents. Cause they never- People are like crazy. Yeah, for what? What? I'm, I make noises when I eat. The Asian people are loud when they eat. Like, uh, they don't have manners. Like, there's this thing where, like, after Korean people eat, they make, like, sounds. He'll be like, <sighs> That's what I love about him, though. It's so extra. Was was good. Telling me when I, was going to I might be Korean. Like, make sure you, like, keep it quiet when you eat, because it's, it's not respectful to be loud, you know, like, smacking and stuff. The stereotypes about Ethiopians is definitely big foreheads, receding hairlines. I happen to fit both of those descriptions. Mark has a large forehead, but that's because he's bald. <laughs> is that a stereotype? That's the biggest, the biggest, biggest stereotype, stereotype. Your partner and body. She has wide hips and like a, a big butt. Oh, my big booty. <laughs> I guess that is a stereotype. I have a really big butt. You like a big butt? Me? <laughs> Say it with your chest, brother. Say it with your chest. Say it. Rapper. <laughs> she does some weird shit sometimes. But sometimes I'm like, damn, white people. Like her grandmother, she used to make pillows with dog hair. That's weird, right? Whoa. <laughs> That's weird. 
What? What? What you can't. The N word. Oh, the N word. I can say nigga. I can't. He can't say that. It's funny when white people say it. Like when you're like, say it, <laughs> and they do, and you're like, whoa, bro. <laughs> Pressuring me to say it, and I'm not gonna say it, but she keeps pushing for it. She's like, it's fine, like, I can say it, I give you the pass, like, it's fine, and I, I'm not going for it. I have not taken the bait yet. How does the world respond to you as a couple? I think everybody's with it. Everybody's you did pretty good, damn. Mm -hmm. I think we get that much negativity. I think we're surprising to most people. I think people see us and they're really- They're confused. surprising to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one is, yeah, that, that one's one's right. that one's... We get stares sometimes. I mean, I've had like black people be like, you shouldn't be dating a white person. Like that's outside of your race. And I'm like, I'm gonna date who I want. They were looking at a black, when was a that? black girl, oh, a white girl, yeah. like, ugh. That's this, still happening? This is September 14th. Bro, you got furries walking around. Nobody cares about that. Is that happening? I think as time goes on, it will die out slowly. But, but like, be, most people will be mixed by 2050. Mm -hmm. So it's just like. I feel like everyone's gonna look like Blake Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love interracial couples. I think it's cool. I would wanna ask the comments too, are people that are in interracial uh, relationships right now are your parents racist? How do your parents think? Like, is it is it still a common thing? Like, I feel like it is, honestly. You think like, it's gonna more take, than you think, think it's gonna take the next generation to wipe that out, kind of? Yeah, us growing up out once we're older and stuff, then I think it's gonna be done. Damn, it's hard to switch the minds of your parents that are traditional who came from their grandparents. Yeah, it's their like parents, that's all like, I know. It's like it's not even worth kind of trying to like say. But no, on TikTok I seen this. They won't even understand that. And they weren't even like aware of everything going on at once, where we can kind of just normalize it. Yeah, please drop some of your interracial dating stories or experiences i think that's it makes dating better when you open the field oh, up hell yeah let me spin the wheel what country we doing today that's why i went, went, to, that's why I went to high school because my our middle school was such a like predominantly melting pot. yeah melting yeah. pot of this i went to high school i said oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah yeah finally like and i, think I was like okay lit. exactly it's just good and i wouldn't even know to learn I, about you know different cultures and whatnot there were almost no asian and mexican people from where we're from oh no not at all i didn't see and there was like like three Asians. Yeah, even in my high school, it's like a very small, mm -hmm. it's very small amount. I come to Orange County. No, same with the Mexican. Spectrum. We didn't really have that over here. And then we come to California, you're like, oh, Los Angeles, obviously. You but get like, all the flavors over I here. Said, oh, they come in different <laughs> flavors. Y'all do samples here? <laughs> That's why Ryan's in the OC all the time. <laughs> And you know what? <laughs> and I love OC. And the people at OC, they love me too. OC is nice. I like going over there. I always get love when I go to OC. There's always somebody who knows me at a Raising Canes whenever I go there. I'm like, bro, I fuck with this fucking place. Yeah. Shout out Orange County, man. Beautiful people. I just love people, man. Mix. And we're, that's us. We're a yeah, product we really are. Of we're yeah. products of mixed love. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what it is. That's actually kind of beautiful to think about it. Mm -hmm. Two then, different parts of the world. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's two, different lit. two different cultures. That's actually crazy. Because like my mom and dad's side completely different with how they were raised and what their beliefs are. Sure, same with both of y'all. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of lit that they kind of blended. And I want to do the same. Right. And then even us like coming from different parts of the world and now we're here. But all of our grandparents came from somewhere else. Like that's crazy to think about. That's what I'm saying. We hit like, all the continents. That's crazy. And then we end, boop, LA. Like, something led us to be right here sitting down in this room. What's interesting, I don't, I don't know if you guys have dating preferences. I can't be with someone that looks like me. Oh no, I yeah, can't definitely do it. not. I, yeah, yeah, no, no. I can't do it. But you see that though, I've right? I've never dated somebody that was my race. There's a lot of beautiful light black and white light skinned girls that technically speaking, if the stars aligned, I would date them. Mm -hmm. But I tend to go on different- Just Something different, right? Because uh -huh. yeah. I don't want to feel like I'm dating my sister or something. See, but then nah. some people feel that way, but some people don't want to do some that. Some people have to do within their own thing. Yeah, I, or, or maybe some, some people, people are scared to try something new and they're like, ah, I just want to do what I kind of no. Well, there's some black girls that said they'll only date black men. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just, that's that and Indian, some Indian brothers. I'm only gonna date an Indian girl. Like I don't mind people when they have racial dating preferences. Nah, but the message is always just love. Honestly, yeah. Love whoever. Yeah, facts. Love whoever you want. <laughs> yeah, technically love whoever you want. I'm not in a relationship, so do what you want. Yeah, and no one else really cares who you love either. So just well, I guess except for Korean parents. Except if you're, yeah, <laughs> if your parents are Korean, then, then you gotta kind of drop some comments know. below. Love to hear y'all. Yeah, peace. Bye. Bye. Another fun one. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, how do you turn this off?